Vice Chancellor, Professor Mbai, Executive Director of uh, Council for Research and Values, our Archbishop, all protocol observed. Uh, mine is just reflection, and I have just one or two issues. The activity this week is on the clash between modern and traditional values. And I have a question. Are traditional values ancient, or can traditional values be modern as well? I also look at the role of history that we develop from the past and we make use of the past to advise on the future. So clearly I see a clash, a clash and as the philosophers say, a contradiction between what we perceive to be modern against traditional. I come from a society that is heavily built on traditional practices and values which relies so much on the role of traditional leaders, right from the family heads to the community leaders, going up to the overlord, who is normally referred to as the chief or the king. There have been a series of issues regarding the powers of the chief on the outcome, following the outcome or the intervention of the colonial powers. They came and started making us laws which are written. But we know in the traditional system, the laws are not written. And they are, they are passed from generation to generation. This is a traditional way of appreciating values or the way to do things. The consequence of the written, that is the law and the constitution, is that it has created some issues limiting the responsibilities of the traditional leaders in the way they should act test attend to issues on values. Then let's talk about the Christianity as such. Again, we come from a tradition that believes so much in the one being, believes so much in a God, the God of us all, but is believed that this God does not have to be approached directly, could be approached indirectly through some other media. And if you go to court and you ask an individual to swear, because he's going to give an evidence. There are normally at least three options. You swear with the Bible, you swear with the Quran, or you swear by the deity. And I can tell you for a fact, in Ghana, no one will want to swear by the deity, because it's believed that the powers of the deity in reacting instantly to falsehood is more, is more instant than the one that we see from the Bible or the, or, the, or, the, or, the, or the Quran. And that is a belief. If somebody does anything wrong and we take the person to the riverside and we say, swear at the river, no one will want to do that. Because nobody knows what will be the consequence. And it is believed that. Those values, when you go against those values, the impact will not just affect you, but will affect the entire family. So clearly I see some issues that will be of interest here as you move on to what extent are traditional values seen as the past, seen as ancient, or to what extent can traditional values to be seen as being modern on its own? And what would this have the impact as we develop the world? I thank you very much for the opportunity to have these few reflections.